Hi all, I am not Ann Patchett, I'm Lindsay Lynch, it's Parnassus Books. You know what you can't get at that other retailer that we don't name? A shop dog on a shelving cart. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're still doing our drive for Bookum. The Bookum book I want to highlight is Lila Greer, Teacher of the Year. I have a lot of teachers in my family. I love the teachers in my family and I love teachers. Okay, there are not a ton of laydowns this week, so I am going to highlight another thing that you can't get from that other online retailer, signed books. Um, we have so many events throughout the year. Because you buy books from us, we get to have these events, and then we get to have signed copies. For historical fiction, The Frozen River by Ariel Lawhon. This is the December Good Morning America pick. For some more historical fiction, Secret Book of Flora Lee by Patty Callahan, signed. They're all signed. Local author, Lori Moore, I am homeless if this is not my home. If you want some highbrow literary fiction that's on a bunch of best of the year lists. What's this? Is it a signed Tom Hanks? It sure is. Uh, we have limited stock, so please don't call us and buy 10. Be generous, buy like two to three. Buy one for yourself, one for your friend. Making of another nation, major motion picture event. Why did you make your title so long, Tom Hanks? Sci-fi fantasy, Jason Pargan's always too drunk for this dystopia. More sci-fi fantasy, V.E. Schwab, The Fragile Threads of Power. For the unhinged hot girl in your life, Rouge by Mona Awad, these are signed. Short stories, <laughs> Wednesday's Child by Ian Lee. It's Barnabas approved. Literary fiction, Absolution by Alice McDermott. This is one of Anne and Elise's favorite books of the year. Hey, mystery, Richard Osman, The Last Devil to Die. And because I love nonfiction. Necessary Trouble by Drew Gilpin Faust. This is one of Anne's favorite nonfiction books of the year. One of Andy, our store manager's favorite nonfiction books of the year, The On Great Fields by Ronald C. White. And so, so many more. Come to the store, buy a book. Bonus points if it's signed. It's the coolest flex at Christmas to be like, I got you a signed copy. And up next, we have Elise. Speaking of signed copies, my book on book this week that I will purchase and we will also add another copy is Kemo's Let Your Light Shine. Grammy award winning, these are signed copies. Hey Keb, come on in the store. Okay, and I do wanna show you the signature. This is such a great book and I love Kemo, we all do. So shout out to Keb. Okay, we don't have events right now because we are just into the season and I just want to, I have done some book pairings for gifts. Look at this. I mean, Anne's book. Now, they're all signed and she will personalize and you can put it in this gorgeous Tom-like tote. Really nice gift. Then, look at this. Speaking of Barnabas, who's very famous. Shop dogs, we have the shop dogs of Parnassus with illustrations by our own fabulous Theo, who's our graphic designer. This is, Anne wrote this, uh, illustrations by Theo, introduction by Kate Camillo, and an afterward by our own Mary Laura Philpott. We love Mary Laura as well. And you can pair that with dogs at work. Now this is incredibly cool because it includes Barnabas and Sparky right here. And wherever you are, come and visit Parnassus. Come and visit us anyway, because we love to see you. But we also have this artwork that's hanging in our children's department, which is really pretty cool. So what a fun gift this is. And then the last one I wanna talk about, I write down the books that I've read because once I started reading the same book and I'm halfway through and I remember that I've read it, I started writing them down. This is what I read. And the reason why I love this is because there's enough room. There's enough room to say the title and the author when you read it. I like to know how many books I've read each year and then your thoughts about the book. This is so adorable. I recommend, I recommend doing this while you're drinking a cup of coffee out of a Parnassus mug of which we have many styles. So come and see us. And before I turn it over to Rayanne, because I'm sitting here with Barbara and I am reading this right now, I am almost done. It's like, 
I don't know what I'm going to miss her when this is finally done. I don't know. This might be 450,000 pages, but um, it's worth every moment of it. She is one of the most brilliant, accomplished in so many different ways. And you learn about everything that she's done, but you also learn about art and music and theater and just, it's really fabulous. I highly recommend it. Barbara, okay? My name is Barbara. She's got skin like butter. Speaking of which, Rayanne, <laughs> take it away. Oh, thanks, Elise. <laughs> you exaggerate. Hi, everybody. Um, my book and book that I wanna highlight this week is Like Lava in My Veins, written by Derek Barnes with art by Sean Martinbro and Adriano Lucas. We have some signed copies you can pick up. And if you're not in the store, you can go to parnassusbooks.net slash bookem and buy for the kids on the list. Now, not many books are out today, but there is one very special picture book out today by Sandra Boynton, Hippos Remain Calm. I repeat, Hippos Remain Calm. This is so fun. You're gonna to wanna to pick up a pick book and we have signed book plates in them. Now, I wanna highlight a few books that are special to me that we've had already throughout the year. Maybe you took a look at the picture books that were on the best illustrated list already by the New York Times and the New York Public Library. One of our own Sprout Book Club books was listed before now by Daniel Salmieri. This is about a child eating oatmeal in their high chair at the beginning. It's a circular story with beautiful illustrations. At the end, the grandma is in, standing by the high chair while her own grandchild is in it. Pick up a copy now. The December Spark Pick, one of my favorite Spark books of the year. The Winterton Deception, Final Word by Janet Summer Johnson. It is about a spelling bee. I've always wanted to be in a spelling bee when I was a kid. This is a fun mystery with clues and a big castle. YA Readers, Bring Me Your Midnight by Rachel Griffin. This is about a witch who lives in a community off the coast of the Pacific Northwest, and it, she is destined to marry the prince of the mainland, and what happens when that goes wrong? Oh wait, I wanna show you underneath. This makes a great gift for your YA fantasy reader. Thanks for listening, and please take a look at the holiday catalog.